My name is Linda Weatherly Schroyer. I'm an artist here living in the North Tazewell area of Virginia. And I have a variety of mediums I'm interested in. My background's drawing and painting, so I do some watercolor. And right now I'm doing some pastels. And since I'm married to a ceramic artist, I have access to clay. So then I play around in clay also. Um, so I can't seem to stick to one medium. <laughs> I like to like to switch it around. Um, you know, it is funny. I'm from big city, Atlanta, Georgia. Met my husband at the University of Georgia. We both studied art. He went to uh, Penn State for his grad graduate work and then got a position here at Bluefield College, which is now Bluefield University, um, and teaches art, teaches a variety of art courses over at Bluefield uh, University. So. That's how we ended up in the mountains, which we love. We're, we're glad, we love to visit the city, but we're glad to be in the mountains. I think I met Pawnee, just we've crossed paths at a variety of, variety of places, probably Appalachian Arts Center. Then when she opened her gallery there on Tazewell, um, we connected. I work uh, a part-time job there on Main Street Tazewell near the near the gallery and met her and met her again and brought some things to, to uh, submit to her gallery. So that was very exciting to have some things right down the road. Okay, growing up, my mother was, well, she was educated in art ed at, at Ohio State and the, she moved to Atlanta and didn't really pursue art herself, but was always very creative. So she was a Brownie Scout leader, Girl Scout leader. We always had art supplies around the house. <laughs> so she was a very creative person. So probably I just started drawing earliest, just pencil drawing, you know, as a, something to do um, from an early age. I had a breast cancer about 15 years ago. So I did a body of work that, um, were involved in the healing process of that, and then those I did have at a few little galleries showed as a body of work. So I was I was proud to get that out there as part of a, a way to heal after a traumatic um, health crisis. So um, my work was very different in those items, which was also fun because the uh, cancer kind of made my hands arthritic, and I couldn't do my little tiny my little tiny detailed things. So I was working larger and more uh, more mild, but. Anyways, I've healed greatly from that. My pearl of wisdom. Um, I do like to kind of keep little notes around, just maybe not always necessarily about art, but about who I want to be. Um, but when I focus on the art end, in thinking about what I would, uh, how I would guide young people starting out, I think it's simple, but just keep at it. You know, there's so many things in the creative world that will discourage you. I mean, I've had plenty of jury show rejections. I've had uh, plenty of starts thinking, well, if I do this, that'll, that'll be the best. And, you know, it didn't really work out. I don't really like doing portraits. You know, mm -hmm. I've attempted that. But, you know, you just keep at it and you keep, um, keep expanding and trying new things. And you know, sometimes you swing back to where you started from. And sometimes, you know, you move forward and find find a new outlet that you enjoy. Maybe that's part of why I keep changing my media. You know, I'll do a little fabric. My mom was a seamstress, and so she taught my sister and I to sew. So every once in a while, I'll have to do a, a textile project. <laughs> awesome. But uh, just keep at it. 